This week I'm going to show you how to make my mum's trifle. You'll need some slightly stale sponge cake. The amount depends entirely on how much trifle you want to make. Flavoured gelatin. Again, the amount depends on how much you're making. Custard. I'm cheating this week and using shop-bought custard, but you can make your own following my video if you like. And make it extra thick. And finally, you'll need whipped cream to go on the top. Start by slicing up your sponge cake. About half an inch slices. And then lay the cake in the bottom of a bowl. You don't want to fill it up all the way to the top. Slightly more than halfway is about the highest that you want to go. Next up, pour your flavoured gelatin into a heat proof jug. And add just enough boiling water to dissolve the gelatin. And stir it until it's completely dissolved. Make sure it really is completely dissolved before you go on to the next bit. Or you end up with rubber jelly in the bottom. There. Once that's completely dissolved, make up the full amount according to your packet of gelatin with cold water. And that'll help it set faster if you want it to eat it on the same day. But it will also help you avoid breaking the bowls that you're making the trifle in, in case they're not terribly heat resistant. Okay, we've got sliced cake in the bowl, we've got our jelly made, and the next step is to pour the jelly onto the cake. And so that you don't disturb it too much, pour it off the back of a spoon. And that'll stop the jelly making a dent in the middle of the cake. You just want to cover those slices of cake. Push any under that aren't completely under the jelly. And then pop the whole thing in the fridge until it's completely set. Now that the jelly is set, all that's left to do is spoon on a layer of custard. And then on top of the custard, a layer of whipped cream. Now, I have homework for you this week. I would like as many of you as possible to go to your mums and ask them for one of their recipes, one of their favourites. Make a video, make a video with your mum, or make a video yourself of her recipe, and post it as a response to this video. And if you can't video it, blog it. And I'll put a link in the description for this video. And there we have my mum's trifle 1970s style. My dad's favourite. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, or click on the toast below to watch another one.